So here uh, I've just uh, I'm just showing you the uh, my browser window uh, that I'll be using. And in that, if I just search for Zoom meeting, and I, if I just click on this, it can actually show me HTTPS Zoom.us. Just need to go on this link. This shows the different features that are available in, in the Zoom software. Uh, for us, the important thing is that uh, we just need to perform sign up for now. So let's click on sign up, it's free button that, that's there. Uh, I need to enter my uh, dates of date of birth. And let's suppose if it's January 1, 2000, I just need to enter the age there. Uh, after entering my date of birth, it asks me to enter my email. Let's suppose uh, you can give actually any email if you want, if even if it's Gmail or Outlook or anything else. In this case, I'm giving it a Gmail account. And um, uh, with this, I can then press the sign up button. When I press sign up, it's going to send me an activation email as shown on the screen. So I must uh, uh, now need to go on, on Gmail and check if an activation email was received from Zoom. So I directly go to this page and uh, I can actually see that I've received an email over here, as you can see from Zoom, which asked me to activate my account. Let's click on this one. It says, welcome to Zoom and I need to activate my account. So if I click on this orange button here, it opens up a new website, which shows that I just need to enter my information. So my first name is, for example, uh, let's call me admission. My last name is student. Whatever your first name and last name is, enter those names. The password needs to be of a specific type. Otherwise, it is not going to allow you. It must have at least eight characters. It must, must have a few letters and a few numbers. And uh, it must include both uppercase and lowercase characters. So remember with this, I think your password is fine. Uh, you just remember your password uh, because you'll be needing it to log into the Zoom. Uh, this step is for inviting others. For now, we can just skip it. It's not at all important for us. So I'm going to skip this one. Uh, after skipping this one, it, now I'm ready to use Zoom. Everything else is set up and I can simply use it.